those that know me well know that I'm always reluctant to cut out any verses out of hymns. And one of the features of hymns about the Trinity is that you really can't cut any of the verses out without cutting out one of the members of the Trinity. This hymn, Come Thou Almighty King, was written to celebrate Trinity Sunday in 1757. It was originally sung to the tune of God Save Our Gracious King, or the same tune as America the Beautiful. And there's a story told that during the Revolutionary War, British troops had burst into an American church service and demanded that they sing, God Save Our Gracious King. And so the congregation responded by singing this hymn, Come Thou Almighty King, focusing not on the earthly King of England, but rather the Almighty King of Kings and Lord of Lords. John wrote in Revelation 17 of earthly kings under the authority of the beast. He says, These have one purpose, and they give their power and authority to the beast. These will make war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will conquer them, because he is Lord of lords and King of kings. Those with him are called, chosen, and faithful. Come on. 